A gruesome attack in Polk County. A firefighter dispatched to help a man who had crashed his car is brutally attacked in the process. And get this, he had almost all the skin ripped off of his forearm. Rod Carter joins us live in Lakeland at the hospital where that firefighter is still recovering tonight. Rod? Yeah, this is one of those stories that's just hard to believe. I posted it on Twitter and people were saying, wait, what happened? We want to warn you, first off, that some of the pictures you're going to see are a bit disturbing. So that firefighter that you were talking about, his name is Battalion Chief Kevin Shireman. He is here at Lakeland Regional Hospital, has been for a couple of days after that suspect clamped down on his arm with his teeth and literally took a chunk out of his flesh. Take a look at this photo. This is Battalion Chief Kevin Shireman's left arm. This happened after he responded to assist Polk County deputies at an accident off Thornhill Road in Winter Haven. Investigators tell us 26-year-old Briansky Gardner bit Shireman's arm and took out a chunk of flesh. And literally filleted him, ripped him from his elbow to his wrist. I talked to two women who lived near where this all went down. He started, you know, kind of attacking both of them. One recorded this video on her cell phone. They didn't want their faces shown because they say Gardner even threatened them. He took a lodge at me. And, um, yeah, and he was, um, you know, he just kept jumping at us and calling us, you know, very, saying very foul, vulgar, vulgar things. Those ladies tell me that struggle between Gardner and the deputies was scary. And the guy started attacking all of them. They had to, um, you know, kind of try to contain him and keep him on the ground. So they were all on top of him. And then um, he was still fighting back. He started biting on them. And when they thought they had him subdued. And then I guess his Superman strength came up and he decided that he was going to try to get loose. And did. And that is what he bit Shireman's arm that second time and ripped it open. I have a strong stomach and it really got to my stomach to see the, how his arm looked when he walked past me. It was it was crazy. Bronowski, Denard, Gardner and his set of very good teeth need to be locked up in the state prison for a long time. Now, Chief Sherman also has a leg injury that he's recovering from here at Lakeland Regional. I did request to speak with him today, but he said he couldn't talk today, but he did want to release a statement that says, in part, that he's very thankful for the community, for their support, and for all of their prayers throughout this. Now, as for that suspect, he is locked up in jail. His bond is $129,000. In fact, detectives just added another charge to this guy because they said when they took him to Bartow Hospital to get checked out after being tased, he tried to escape then, so they put an attempted escape charge on him too, Jen. I mean, good gracious, was this guy on drugs? I mean, this just sounds almost superhuman. <laughs> It, I mean, it certainly sounds like it. He was tased and he still kept fighting and biting and scratching and pulling and trying to get out of there. They did do a drug test. They've run a panel on him. It should be a couple months, though, before we get the results back on that. So we'll certainly keep watching this and let you know. All right. Rod Carter, Live Force in Lakeland tonight. Thank you, Rod.